Good day everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and today is our continuation for our sports lighting design calculation. Yesterday we discussed about the cricket field lighting calculation and today it's all about swimming pool or Olympic swimming pool lighting design calculation. I received this email from Francesca Buscello and she said good morning Nelka I'm Francesca Buscello architect and light designer from Milan so it's she's from Italy I really appreciate your video very useful and clear the only one so complete on the internet <laughs> okay thank you so much I'm writing to ask if you have uploaded the video for the calculation of the sub Olympic swimming pool I'm on it right now and I love to see your way to solve some aspect of this topic. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Francesca. Okay, sorry Francesca, but I only uploaded swimming pools in my YouTube channel, which are all uh, about decorative swimming pool or should I say part of the landscape lighting design. So it's a, just a regular swimming pool. There are some swimming pool here, but it's how to do a swimming pool, not to do a calculation for a swimming pool. Somebody asked me where to put the calculation surface for the swimming pool, and I said it's just on the top of the water. And that's it. I never had this Olympic swimming pool, but the good thing is I did some Olympic swimming pool before when I'm working in um, a Zoom to Bell group. One is, I think, from Qatar, and the other one is from Egypt okay so i have it here let me check my file so i already opened all my files now where's it okay so this is from uh oman okay so this is rustak oman so i did this one but i used agi 32 instead of dialux so but today we will use dialux software for our tutorial okay and um we also did some uh, lighting calculation for swimming pool um, i would like to show you first some of my designs so you will inspire more of how to do a swimming pool okay so this is a residential swimming pool it's on the roof deck and because it's not sports lighting it's more of landscape lighting so that's why i use dialux evo for this one okay and the next one is uh this one so this is dialux regular and but unfortunately this is just a regular school swimming pool it's not even an Olymp olympic one okay see this design is it's uh it's more of outdoor swimming pool but of course they also use this one um during night time so they light it up and you see the technique i use is more of bouncing the light on the canopy so that is the usual technique technique for um, swimming pool lighting design and i will tell you later why there's another one here so i think this one is again a school accommodation company so it's a school swimming pool again so you see those uh luminaires it's floodlight but it's down it's bouncing uh, the light is bouncing on the ceiling rather than directly pointing to the water because swimming pool uh, requires less glare or if you can have it zero glare because of the water sparkling effect on the water and it creates glare the other one is this one okay. yeah this one is a, a little decorative swimming pool and we use a zoom to bell mirror here in this project and we did this one using um i think relax instead of agi and uh, dialax so this is relax See, so those light, it bounces, those floodlights on the wall bounces the light on the mirror and those mirror will bounce the light to the water. And that product is called, I'm not promoting it, I'm just showing you the, the, the options. So this is the mirror light from Zoom to Bell. So you can bounce the light and point at those mirror to the water. So it's a less glare effect rather than directly pointing the floodlight on the water okay so let's go and check the standard for a swimming pool so what does lg4 or cbc lighting guide 4 says about indoor swimming pool lighting design so let's go and check here in a table of contents the swimming pool goes here so it's on page 39 
So let's go to page 39. Yes, so indoor pools. And what about? Yeah, so it always considers the glare. So um, if you want to learn this one, because I'm going to have online course for indoor lighting design calculation techniques for swimming pools in my Udemy courses. So go and check this one. I will explain more about this, how to do it, and what are the considerations on how to do sports lighting for a swimming pool. So here we go, we have the requirements here. So there is also class one, class two, and class three for a swimming pool. This is very typical for any sports lighting. You cannot really ask the client what is the uh, class requirements, but uh, if you will listen to them, you will easily identify what is the classification. So, for example, the 500 lux, it's, it's more of uh, a college swimming pool. And the 200 lux is just a regular swimming pool. So, it's not so professional. And if you are talking about Olympic swimming pool lighting design requirements, it's not here in this lighting guide for. So it's a separate one and I have a link here from the website. Yes, so you can go and check this one. I'll put this link later on in this YouTube video. And the lighting level for uh, <clears throat> Olympic swimming pool is a little higher, of course, because especially it has a broadcasting TV requirements. So mostly 200 lux. And I'm sure because it's a television uh, requirements then you need to have also vertical illumination for that one okay so here are some other lighting standards for a swimming pool and uh, we can discuss this one later or maybe in my udemy course all right so um yes this is one of my presentation before look at this one it's so crazy this is not an olympic swimming pool but a regular one so I'm just showing you this one because see those floodlights, it's aiming upward, bouncing to the ceiling and then those light from the ceiling bouncing to the water. So it will avoid glare. Okay, and this one requires only 200 lux. So perfect. That's it. Because it's really hard to achieve a 2000 lux if you bounce the floodlights on the ceiling. So what is the best technique to do that especially if you are working for olympic uh, requirements or is it the one or this is the one okay and i took this one if you are planning to ask me this cad file yes you can have it just go to this link uh dwgdownload.com and you can download this cad file for free thank you very much for dwg dwg download team because I downloaded this file and it's really free. So go go guys and get this one. I will also put this link in my YouTube channel later on. Okay, it's really free. Okay, so did I miss something? Standard sample projects, uh, some considerations, and then website link. And I think we are now ready for the swimming pool lighting design. All right.